Good morning everybody and welcome again to my humble abode. Today I'm going to do a little bit more of the immersive engineering model. I'm working towards building the refinery in order that, that makes the biodiesel. And at the moment as you can see here I'm doing some, getting some more iron ingots. It requires a lot of iron ingots. So in the hopper here I put a load of iron that I got from one um, stack of nether iron ore. Just to remind you, because you've forgotten how we do that, is let's go down to the workshop. I take a stack of another iron ore, like this. I oh, always need to do the same for copper, that's why we've got this. I come along here to the induction smelter and put that stack into the induction smelter. It needs sand as well, so let's get another stack of sand. Make sure that this, this smelter's got plenty of sand in it. Okay. And that would um, put this on the way somewhere. That's a look. Here's a good place. And the induction smelter for every single ore here will produce two normal iron ores. Come back to this in a minute. And then after that, I put it into the sag mill here. Make sure the sag mill's got plenty of flint. And last time I did this, I nearly got five stacks of uh, ingots. The last stack was just too short of a full stack. Right, enough of that, now downstairs. What I've been working on was to automate some of the um, production of these blocks that I need for the refinery. And the refinery I need 27 heavy engineering blocks, 6 light engineering blocks and 8 scaffolding. So what I was trying to do was to uh, automate the production of the heavy engineering blocks. So the recipe for those is, well actually it's here, let's go, let's have a look at this. So it requires two pistons, two steel mechanical components, four steel ingots and one electro ingot. Now, in here I have another recipe and this is the one that's producing pistons. So we need redstone, cobblestone, planks and iron ingots straightforward and in here I've got the steel component so that needs one copper and four steel ingots so we've got plenty of copper in here so it's the steel which is problematic so what I need to do is produce lots and lots of steel so what I've got in this chest here is a hopper and lots of iron so what I'm going to do here is put the hopper on this Put the hopper on this, I have to press shift to click of course, and then put the iron into it. So I press shift. Now that will take all the iron and produce eventually steel. The steel will come out into this chest here. In this hopper I've got lots of coal and the coal of course is making coke and this is creosote is now full so what I have to do is to empty out the creosote. Brilliant. Normally it goes into here, but this but this chest is also full. Let's just remove that chest, that chest tank. I can hear a zombie around somewhere. Won't worry about him. What I need to do is to get another tank, don't I? Or find a bigger tank to put this in. So let's do a tank first of all. The screen seems to be jerky again. Okay, one copper ingot surrounded by four glass produces a tank and I need some invite ingots around this tank here so invite ingots we should find in here and that produces a hardened tank and I'll just do the same with hardened glass around here That's the easiest, right? fairly straightforward recipe. The next one of these is quite a lot more involved. You have to produce enderum ingots, but well, we don't want to do that just yet. So let's take that downstairs and fill it if I can get into the if that is, and then put this tank where the other tank was, which is here. And that will now start to fill up with creosote. creosote. 
Where is this? I'm probably out. This could be one around this corner here. Let's have a quick look. Oh, nobody. Nobody, obviously. Oh, he must be above or below me. So we won't worry about him. So, next thing. Right, automation. So what I've got here in my... I want to move this chest a little bit further nearer to this, um, these two, uh, these cyclic assemblers here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this red... It's a blank red print, which is made by two pieces of paper and one uh, redstone. And I'm going to just capture the settings on here. In fact, if you look at this one here, I have to do it this way. There are really no settings except for this round robin here. So when I move the, everything's blacklisted. Basically, means nothing's blacklisted. So everything will go out of this server in a round robin style. The reason for that is this this cyclic assembler and this cyclic assembler both require steel ingots. So let's just pick those up. And let's just pick up the chest as well. Let's put that in five and bring the chest here. And in fact, what I can also do is remove this. If I want to put it, I'll put it here. And that's just one block away from the switch, which is going to be here. So now, what to do is to put down these here. More item ducts. Put the server back in here. So that's the reinforced server, is the one we want. So that's the one with this. So that says nearest first. So now when I right click this or with, with the red print, it should change the settings. And it says now it goes to round robin. So it saves the settings. The next thing you have to do with this is of course just to blank it. Otherwise, the next time you do something, you'll get strange settings copied across. And then when I switch the switch here, uh, let's try this. That activates the, the um, server. So, at the moment I've got plenty of jungle wood in there. Let's put some steel in here too. What else do we need? Electrum ingots. Electrum ingots are pretty... Basically what we need here is just a steel. Ah, and something else. The colours. What the colours represent is that where things go. So if I take this and put down here, so this is on the right hand side, I've got a, a green input port. So green, purple and blue are all inputs and the orange is out. So the orange's back side is the outside. What I also want to show you is a little problem I detected with with them. Um, um, these item ducts and cyclic assemblers. Let me just pick up this chest and I'll bash it with a sword. Take a bit longer than that, but not much. So, what I detected is the automation process. So, here we have this one. So this one has got input on the left hand side, uh, right hand side is green, so everything that comes in should go on the top there. And the purple side will be the left hand side here so if there was an input here then it would go into the into the bottom row and blue will put it in both rows fill them up and then take the next one I'm not quite sure what the importance of that is also I've changed the power the here I've put in a lead a leadstone energy cell and most of them I've just I've simply put in a smaller leadstone flux capacitor they take 80k which is plenty of power for what we're trying to do here. So, what else do we need? Steel, redstone, uh, maybe we need redstone. Let's have a look what we've got in here. Redstone and cobblestone. Okay, let's go upstairs and just get, make sure we've got plenty of redstone, cobblestone and iron. Redstone, plenty of redstone here. Plenty of iron here. Plenty of cobblestone. And we will leave the... Um, wood planks alone for the time being because we don't want to produce too many pistons we can always use them of course so let's shove these into here redstone iron and cobblestone and turn on the switch what you will see is 
around robin behavior for the things where, where they can both go so this filter here only accepts uh, so we can do that these four items so that's a hardened filter so it takes iron ingots wood planks jungle wood doesn't really matter that much redstone and cobblestone here you'll see now that this is steel they should be going round robin why are they not going round robin this filter here should be accepting steel and electrum ingots it didn't seem to go round robin that's a bit strange and here we've got six steel mechanical components produced but they've not gone out and the problem is when is if the two devices were connected together they would go out so let me see if I can demonstrate that if I move this out of the way now this corner piece here put instead in its place a tank uh, not a tank a chest I'll get that went right one day won't I what you'll now see is these items that you can just see them are coming into this chest so they they came in straight into that chest and of course to put those into this chest now all I have to do is put a servo on here and turn it on and those will now be fed into this cyclic assembler in fact I don't need a filter on here I'll remove this filter now it was what I was trying to do so what have we got in this chest should be nothing but they've got they're still in there that's a bit strange they should come into here ah let's just check the settings on this one ah that's the problem on the sides have set those to being um and here we see one just go in in fact it was so fast it got processed straight away and now it comes into this chest two more heavy in engineering blocks so we've got 18 of the 27 that we need and the same here of course we're going to get pistons coming in here and so what I need to do here is to put, uh, remove this filter from here I don't need a filter and put in its place a uh, filter oh, the servo do that correctly server is that one just turn the server on and you'll see the pistons going through here in a few seconds there we go and they'll be ending up into this feed here and on the on this particular one we set which side was it, it must be the right hand side it must be purple which goes into the bottom row right now so all we need really is a lot more steel ingots which we can put directly into here if it's not round robbing it it was before it seems to have stopped so let's have a look here was a simpler demonstration and what I want to do here is to make light engineering blocks and what I've got here is this recipe this makes the, uh, an iron mechanical component which is four iron ingots and sorry yeah four iron ingots and one copper ingot so let's take out everything except for one copper ingot here and in this one here we've got the cyclic assembler that requires one copper three copper ingots and four iron ingots so what i wanted to demonstrate was the um, three wasn't it and two mechanical components, so we need two two copper ingots in here. Okay, let's turn this on and see what happens. What we should hope to see is there is a round robin on this filter. Okay. So in this case, all of the ingots went into this chest, into this device here. So let's just try that again and this time let's just spread these around a bit so I can do that is we so 
Now, hopefully, they do actually go round robin. Yes, now it's working. You'll see that one's going one side and the other's going the other side. Okay, and this is producing. Let's just take out all this. We don't need too many of these to be produced. Oops. And in here, we're getting these mechanical components. These are the iron mechanical components. So that was a, that was on the right hand side. Left hand side is purple, and right hand side is output. So from here, if we have made any, we come into this chest here. So we made two light engineering blocks, and this all worked quite nicely without using this extreme example here of lots and lots of item ducts. So let's see if we've got some small steel. We have 60. Let's take the steel and shove those steel into this cyclic assembler here. Oh, there should be enough. Maybe it's lacking steel mechanical components. Let's try those. And let's see if it is actually working for this. Let's just take these and spread these around a bit too, like that. No, that's strange. It's definitely not. Is there something wrong with this filter? Stealing good smoke. Oh, don't ask me. Maybe I have to take the filter out. So what we should be seeing then, out of here, we've been using up the ironing that's actually come through there and it ended up there in the mechanical components, which is correct. So now we have 10 in here, but only one steel ingot, of course. And here now we have 24. So we only need three more, and then we have sufficient to actually make the um, the refinery. We also need for the refinery is steel scaffolding. So I'm going to need a lot of steel ingots. Steel scaffolding Let's have a look here. If we look at for uh, immersive engineering, you'll see the structure structural arm scaffolding will be this one here. So it's made out of three steel fences and three steel ingots. And the steel fence is made out of just steel blocks in the square. Fairly straightforward. And that so we, we basically get 15 and in total we need eight scaffoldings so we'd basically need two sets of those would be sufficient and that would give us 12 and then we would be sufficient to do the the refinery okay i think that's all for today there may be one other thing i wanted to show you but um, it was probably just the ingots at the top in here that's all gone. It's fat now it's all gone. Let's put the others in here and the other one. What happens now is these smelt, as they smelt, they can get produced and they just go straight down into this ingot mould because of this cl redstone clock. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until next time, bye for now.